If you're looking to decrease your risk of high blood pressure, heart attacks, strokes, and other heart problems, you've come to the right video because here we're going to discuss the six top supplements for heart health. Now, how do we measure what's healthy and what's not? What tests can we use? Typically in research, what is used to assess the risk of heart issues are three or four things. One is total cholesterol. Two is the subfractions of cholesterol. So things like LDL and HDL. And in some studies, it gets even more refined. LDL number, LDL size, HDL number, HDL size, uh, triglycerides, as well as blood pressure. So the big three are really cholesterol and its deriv derivatives, uh, blood pressure, and triglycerides. So let's talk about this, uh, the top six supplements for heart health. In no particular order, one of the most common ones being used, and for good reason, is fish oil. One meta-analysis found that fish oil reduces blood pressure by about 8 over 5 millimeters of mercury, but the dose is very important. It only does so when taken at about 15 grams per day. Lower doses of just 1 or 2 grams don't do it or don't do it to the same extent, so the dose is very important. Another meta-analysis found that fish oil also reduces uh, triglycerides but not cholesterol levels. So we have two of the three markers of heart health being affected by the right amount of fish oil, which is 15 grams per day. Now this is for treatment, this is not for maintenance. Maintenance, you can probably use much lower doses. The second supplement for heart health is garlic extract, also known as allicin, A-L-L-I-C-I-N. In one meta-analysis, garlic extract reduced high blood pressure by between 16 over 9 millimeters of mercury. This is very, very significant. How does garlic extract um, reduce high blood pressure? There are three possible mechanisms. One of those is the reduction of cholesterol synthesis. In other words, there, the liver starts to make less cholesterol, so there's less of it inside the arteries, opening up the space for blood to flow through smoothly. That's one. Two is the prevention of LDL oxidation. We know that there are two types of cholesterol. There is LDL and HDL. When LDL, or low-density lipoprotein, is oxidized, or in other words, it's rusting, that increases the risk of heart disease. And number three, garlic is a vasodilator. In other words, it opens up blood vessels. These are the three mechanisms by which garlic lowers blood pressure. But it's not just lowering blood pressure that it protects, uh, it, it, that's not the only mechanism by, by which it protects the heart. Garlic also affects cholesterol profiles. In one meta-analysis, garlic extract reduced total cholesterol by 9% and LDL cholesterol by about 4%. Now, if this doesn't sound like much to you, a reduction of 8% in total cholesterol reduces heart disease risk by 38%. So it has very, very powerful effects. The third supplement we're going to talk about for improving your heart health is magnesium. What magnesium does is it's a mineral that lowers blood pressure, and in one meta-analysis, 370 milligrams of magnesium lower blood pressure by 4 over 3 millimeters of, millimeters of mercury in people with high blood pressure. Having said that from, uh, from my own um, use of it with clients, I've seen reductions greater than that with doses higher than that. Some of my clients go as high as 2,000 milligrams and we see much more significant reductions in blood pressure. In another meta-analysis, they wanted to f figure out does magnesium affect cholesterol levels and triglycerides, and the answer is no. The only way that, uh, that magnesium improves, um, that improves heart health is through its effects on high blood pressure. So very good supplement to take if you have high blood pressure, but speak about it first with a pharmacist. The fourth supplement that we're going to talk about for uh, heart health improvement is olive leaf extract. In one study, they found that it reduces high blood pressure by 11 over 4 millimeters of mercury in people with high blood pressure. The dose that they use on average is about 500 milligrams twice a day. Another benefit of olive leaf, olive leaf extract is that it lowers LDL cholesterol by about 6% in people with elevated LDL cholesterol, and it lowers a marker of inflammation called IL-6 or interleukin-6 by 16%. And again, that's a marker of inflammation, which is a, a causal factor for a lot of chronic conditions. Now, how does it work? What are its mechanisms of action? One of the mechanisms of action of olive leaf extract is that it's an antioxidant, so it prevents damage to cells. It's also anti-inflammatory, and it prevents the adhesion of particles to cell walls. When particles adhere to cell walls, it increases things like diabetes, increases things like cholesterol, LDL, um, and so on. So that is supplement number four. Supplement number five for heart health is greens drinks. 
These are powdered green vegetables. Now, if that sounds disgusting, if it was pure vegetables, yes, it would be, but it's actually flavored. Most flavors are things like orange or citrus or pina colada or something like that. One study found that supplementation with one scoop per day of greens powders lowered high blood pressure by 12 over seven millimeters of mercury when taken for 90 days. And one meta-analysis found greens drinks to lower homocysteine, which is a marker of inflammation, and oxidation, which is free radicals. And how does it work? There are a couple different mechanisms by which greens drinks improve heart health. One is they have lots of antioxidants. Antioxidants decrease the, the damage done to cells. Additionally, they are natural beta blockers. One class of medications frequently given for high blood pressure and arrhythmias is beta blockers to decrease the reactivity of the heart to both cortisol and adrenaline. So this does it naturally. And yet another one is it contains nitric oxide, or rather nitrates, which get converted to nitric oxide, which opens up blood vessels and decreases blood pressure. And the last supplement that we're going to talk about for the improvement of heart health is coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10. One meta-analysis found that supplementation of coenzyme Q10 at doses between 75 and 360 milligrams per day for eight weeks, lower blood pressure by between 17, uh, by, by about 17 over 10 millimeters of mercury. The safe upper limit for coenzyme Q10 is 1200 milligrams. So if the dose you're taking isn't working, perhaps try a higher dose in a safe way. Again, consult about this with your pharmacist. And in another meta-analysis, coenzyme Q10 had a very small impact on total cholesterol, it reduced it, and it had a very small impact on HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol, it increased it, and had no effect on LDL cholesterol. Now, how does it work? Well, coenzyme Q10 is a natural, what they call ACE inhibitor. In the pharmaceutical world, they use a class of medications called ACE inhibitors to lower blood pressure. ACE stands for angiotensin converting enzyme. And what that is, is angiotensin is a hormone that raises blood pressure. And this, uh, coenzyme Q10, is a natural ACE inhibitor. Another mechanism is a calcium channel blocker. In other words, calcium causes muscle contraction, but anything that prevents calcium from contracting to, uh, sorry, calcium from binding to cells decreases blood pressure. And magnesium is one way to do that, which is why that works. And so, so is coenzyme Q10. These are the six most powerful supplements for heart health. Now, don't go out there and start taking each supplement. What you wanna do is speak to a pharmacist first because there are interactions between supplements and medications. Not all interactions are positive. Some could be deleterious. So take your due diligence and make sure you speak to a pharmacist first. Additionally, I should make a note on dosage. It's very important to start at the dose that it says on the label, but if it doesn't work, don't conclude that that supplement doesn't work just uh, make sure you're taking the right dosage. So try raising the dosage up and up and up until you reach the safe upper limit, which you can figure out by just typing into a search engine, um, safe upper limit for name of the supplement. I hope you like this video. See if these supplements work for you. Speak to a pharmacist first. If you like this video, my name is Igor. Click like and subscribe.